Did Blizzard just rug pull us? Okay, l let me explain a little bit of what I'm talking about here. So, mainly what happened is when Ramacha was first released, he was obviously underpowered, very weak, and that was the consensus, making the whole paywall or battle pass dilemma not too shabby. However, after Ramacha's buff, he is quite literally becoming meta at a rapid pace, and the odds of needing him in your rank game is increasing, especially as a tank main. Now, he does have some counter picks, but that doesn't really resolve the issue. With all that being said, a lot of us kind of saw this coming, but then I read a Reddit post seven days ago that I somehow missed. I would have made a video immediately, but I somehow missed the fact. Yeah, hear me out here. The fact that Blizzard severely and haphazardly nerfed the XP you gain from every match of Overwatch with Season 2, but they didn't change the math shown at the end of the games, so most of the time it actually makes zero sense now. And man, is this a doozy. Especially because Blizzard, you know, blissfully lowered the level at which you earn Ramatra at a free state from 55 to 45. And the purpose being that free players won't be locked out of the hero as long. But that change accompanied an XP nerf. So nothing really changed and it was quite hidden from the players. But you know what? Before we talk about Ramatra and that whole issue, let's read the Reddit post in a little bit more detail sources down below. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try my best to narrate this in a clear fashion. They nerfed how much XP you gain from actually playing the games. Before, I never saw as low as 300 to 400 XP from a quick arcade match, but now some arcade matches are less than five minutes long and only give you 300 XP. They seem to have severely nerfed the XP you got for actually playing. So even if it's a 10 or longer minute game, you don't earn that much XP. So most of the XP you get is now from the bonuses, like finishing games, roll queue bonus, other bonuses, battle pass 20% bonuses, which doesn't even apply properly in some cases. They actually seem to have nerfed the XP gain in such a rush that they didn't even adjust the addition elements and math doesn't show up properly at the end of the screen. And here are some examples. In this first one, the 20% bonus applies as 2%, so only gets 102 XP. In the second one, he doesn't get any game XP, he only gets XP for actually completing a challenge. And obviously this is pretty bad. To, to say the least, this is pretty bad. Now this isn't supposed to be some sort of conspiracy theory, just pointing out some things are pretty bad. And the Reddit comments kind of go on to support this. Anecdotally, I have noticed that I'm ranking up this battle pass much slower than I did in season one. I put it down to just not playing as much as I did for the first week of release, but I've noticed my XP per game seems much lower than it is. And pretty much everyone seems to agree. Of course, I'm not one to ask for comments, but it's definitely a good time. Let me know if you have been feeling this or not. But with all this broken down and everything discussed, that is still not really the reason of this video. The real reason is the fact that Ramacho was underpowered into meta within a week, a very short period of time. And I'm, I'm gonna say it, knock on wood, I hope Blizzard keeps up with communication, balance changes, and shifting the meta. I hope that in January we see a good Roadhog nerf, I hope we see a great Junker Queen spicy change, etc, etc. I, I need to make that clear. However, this is in direct conflict with the fact that as well as Rimatra, the next new hero will also be locked behind a battle pass, and I am just a little bit afraid of this underpowered into overpowered state in order to avoid issue, right? If Ramatra came out of the gates swinging and he was super overpowered as a lot of people thought he would be, including myself, then it would that pay to win feeling would have been bad, very, very bad. But not nah, give it a week, people bought the battle pass who wanted to, you know, and you know they're, they're already progressing, right? They're already on their way. Even free players are already on their way to Ramatra. And then bam, the people who aren't convinced get hit with these changes, start fighting Ramatra, start feeling his presence in the game and start wondering, should I buy Ramatra? Because that's what happened to me. Even as a content creator, um, who's trying to post consistently on this channel, I didn't buy the battle pass. I do not own Ramatra yet. I am still on my way to own Ramatra yet I'm starting to feel his presence in a way that I didn't before, and that's definitely due to the buff. It's making, you know, you can still play him in custom games, so I played him a little bit in custom games, I felt his strength, got a little bit addicted to him, and a little bit sad right after, because I realized I would have to fork over the cash in order to buy him. Now, have I yet? No. I still haven't paid any money on Overwatch, that's the honest truth, but man, is it working? And I'm someone who is literally roasting Blizzard, clickbaiting basically hate towards Blizzard, 
yet still praising them for what they do right, right? So this, this is just an honest fact, and yet I am feeling it. I am feeling the fact that I should have Ramantra. I play tank a shit ton, and I'm enjoying Doomfist and Roadhog right now until Roadhog gets nerfed, and I, I enjoy Ramantra, and I, I can't own him unless I want to pay. It doesn't feel like I can own him. I know eventually I'll get him, but that, it doesn't feel rewarding. It's not like, I don't know, I don't know. Working my way towards Ramatra for arbitrary challenges and random battle pass XP is not my jive, and I definitely don't feel rewarded leveling up in this battle pass, especially since it's been feeling like a grind, which ties back to the Reddit post in which I believe it is true, and it is more a grind than originally thought. And here we go. I guess the last point of discussion is only one thing. What does Blizzard do next? How can they alleviate this problem? And truth be told, I'm not too sure they can. I would make a gamble. I would roll the dice and honestly admit that I believe Blizzard made more money off Season 2 Battle Pass than they did with Season 1 Battle Pass. It is my honest truth. I, I would roll the dice on that and it would be due to Ramatra having one of the best skins in the game and this nice little power curve that I assume, like, I would, they would never do it. A private company would never do this, ever, ever. But I would bet, and again, roll the dice, for Blizzard to show the sales of the Battle Pass pre Ramatra buff by a couple days, and then post Ramatra buff by a couple days. If there's not an uptick in sales on the Battle Pass in order to play the buffed Ramatra, I would be in shock. Of course, the biggest problem with all this is that it's definitely a money, a money machine for Blizzard. And for them, you know, when they're making a lot of money, the odds of long-term success on Overwatch in terms of con continuous updates. So it, in retrospect, it does function in, in, in a way for fuel of the Overwatch train, right? It keeps that fuel going, keeps the game going. But I just, that slip from cosmetics into gameplay is something I immediately mentioned, one of my biggest videos immediately mentioned on Ramatra. It's it's just something in which I don't trust Blizzard. I said, Ramatra seems OP, I know he might not be. I said that if he comes out OP, this is a much bigger issue. He did not come out OP, and to be honest, his buff might be lifting him into the meta, but he's still not Roadhog broken. But a time, a day, a moment will come. I, I mark my freaking words, man. A moment will come that a Roadhog level busted hero will slip into the game with the paywall active, with the grind active, inside the battle pass, and it will be the moment in which it all backfires. It'll be a moment in which it wreaks havoc. And the best way I can compare it to for Overwatch 1 players, imagine if Brigida launched an Overwatch 1, the one who really hit the GOATS meta, who really ruined the game for many months, slipped into a battle pass. And, and it was game changing for ranked, it was game changing for the meta, it was literally what you should be playing if you want to rank up, the team comp depended on it. Imagine a hero like that slips into the battle pass. That will be the time where it won't be a few reddit upvotes, it won't be me trying to farm views for fun or a shit talking blizzard, it'll be a time in which it backfires on the game and the community aggressively. At least that's, that's what I believe, but let me know what you think.